Welcome back to Extended Play. Mario's occasionally overshadowed brother Luigi has finally stepped into the spotlight, or more accurately, the flashlight, as he sneaks around in the shadows hunting ghosts. Now, we've seen a lot of sneak previews of this game, but how does it pan out when you play it all the way through? Here's our review of Luigi's Mansion. Mario! Mario? Mario! Wherefore art thou Mario? Be somewhere in Luigi's Mansion. Finally, Luigi steps out of Mario's shadow with a flashlight. And this game has got oh, the yeah. goods. You play in a mansion with old furniture and other bad things. If you want to save Mario, you gotta clean out all the ghosts. And you don't do it by jumping on their heads, it's more civilized. You use a flashlight to freeze them and a vacuum to seize them. You also have a Game Boy Horror that allows you to get some clarification on your situation. The AI is clever. Naughty ghosts will pop up behind Luigi when you least expect it. The two joysticks on the GameCube controller allow you to work the game with ease. The main stick controls Luigi while the little stick controls his perspective. The cartoony graphics are solid. Its lighting and transparency effects are spectacular. The sound is pretty good, too. Hearing Luigi scream for his brother will put a smile on anybody's face. Mario! 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 Luigi's Mansion only takes 10 to 20 hours to complete, but it's a well-conceived game that's worth every second. We give it a 4 out of 5.